Kamosta, mabuhay, magandang gabi and welcome back to MGN Dieko. Ako po si Ovela and today's video, well, I am doing it because tons and tons of you want me to speak about the Janine Burden transformation, okay? It was weird. I started receiving so many messages of people showing me pictures of uh, the new uh, Janine Burden and asking me if I recognize her, okay? So I found, I wanted, I wanted to actually react to a video explaining everything that's been going on with Janine, but everything was in Tagalog, so I didn't think it was interesting. So uh, instead, I found a website called Coconut Manila, okay, that wrote an article about Janine Burden in English, and that's exactly what, we're, what we are going to be reading. And after we read that, I will tell you my opinion about the whole Janine Burden transformation, okay? And I'm not going to explain to you who Janine Burden is because I'm pretty sure that this uh, article will explain who she is, okay? All that you need to know is that I'm familiar with Janine Burden because I reacted to a lot of her performances. Yes, she's a singer. But before we start, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News, of course, right there. And I'd like to thank my dear patrons for their amazing support on Patreon where they get to watch all the exclusive reaction videos. And the last one that they are watching is the performance of XOXO of their own song XOXO. Yes, it's the uh, girl pop group that is managed by uh, the GMA Network. There you go. All right, here we go. Um, quarantine glow up singer Janine Burden wows Pinoy fans with new look. So, padadam! The old Janine Burden on the left, the brand new Janine Burden on the right. So, as you can tell, there are some uh, differences. Pinoy music fans were pleasantly surprised today when singer Janine Burden showcased her new look which may have included a little cosmetic surgery. Instead of calling her out, however, fans only had nice things to say about her appearance, which became public when her photos were shared widely on social media. Filipino fans are notorious for criticizing who for criticizing celebrities who choose to go under the knife. So the reaction to Burden's transformation is a refreshing change. The Tawagantang Halen champion thanked her fans for supporting her decision to get a makeover which included coloring her hair purple. So there you go. Janine Burden is an excellent, excellent singer. She's young, but bro, she is very experienced and she has a very interesting texture to her voice. And she won Tawagantang Halen. I believe season two, if I'm not mistaken, and well deserved. So, uh, I'm very flattered because the compliments I've been getting are so good. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. The 18 year old said in an interview with entertainment writer Darla Sauler. Maybe I bloomed because I'm not afraid of change. I think that's what everyone should keep in mind, that we shouldn't be afraid of change, that we can be capable of change. If there's something you don't like about yourself and if you are not happy about it, then you can do something. Do something to make yourself happy. You only live once. YOLO! <laughs> right? Just do things that will make you happy, the visibly elated singer said. When you're not happy with yourself, it would show. I saw in my old posts, in my old videos, I can see how self-conscious I was. Now, when I look at my photos now, I look at all the videos I take, I look happy, she said. Let's not be afraid of change and let's not condemn change. If you want to change something, change it, she added. Burden has become a trending topic today and fans only had nice things to say about her quarantine glow up. It's funny how they call it a quarantine glow up because it happened during quarantine, I guess. Change to be better is a big yes. I stand, Janine Burden. Tweeted at Miles Honorio. Wrote fan at Luki. 
Janine Burden really snatched that nose for herself and not for y'all broke ass. Oh my god. Some people, however, are calling out Burden for changing her appearance drastically, prompting at Lars Layag to say, these beep, okay, making fun and throwing shade against Janine Burden cause she did enhance her facial features. When will these scumbags realize that plastic surgery is not something to make fun of? Duh, normalized plastic surgery slash enhancement. It's almost 2021 and you're still dumb. <laughs> So there you go, guys. That was the article. Here are the pictures, the picture once more. I believe she also shared one more picture of her new look. So my thoughts, okay. The old Janine Burden, the old Janine Burden. I thought she looked beautiful even before the surgery. Okay, I honestly thought she was very charming. She had beautiful big lips, she has big eyes. Yes, her nose is not the most slender nose out there, but honestly, that doesn't bother me at all. You know, it's the whole thing, and she was so pretty and cute. Now, clearly, they made some changes to her nose, and it looks like they made some changes to her upper lip, you know, a little bit. Now she looks sexier, okay? She's still beautiful, you know? I personally don't think that it was necessary, but who cares what people think? Seriously, what matters it what is what Janine Burden feels and thinks. If she's happier this way, then that's what matters. And most of all, what matters is her health, you know? Her physical health, and mental health. If she is healthy in the, both those categories, that's what matters, okay? She did this for herself. Now, if she did this because of this new generation of social media, then there might be a problem, you know, because these new kids, you know, because she's young, man, 18 years old, they grew up with social media. They grew up filming themselves. They grew up taking pictures of themselves. And unfortunately, they can't help it but feel validated by the eyes of other people. And that's where the problem stems for. Seriously, like, what matters is what you think. What other people think doesn't matter. If you are confident enough in yourself, like, I'm not perfect, okay? Yes, I realize that I'm not, you know, by the beauty standards of the world, I'm not the ugliest guy out there, you know, but I'm not, I'm not the most beautiful guy out there, but still, I find flaws with myself, okay? But I'm still confident enough in myself to say, bruh, you're the best, you rock, okay? So, that's what I'm saying, do not, do not seek validation uh, from social media. What matters is what you think of yourself, you know? Not even what your family thinks of you, what you think. When you look at yourself in the mirror, do you feel good about yourself, you know? And seriously, aesthetics, beauty is subjective and that's exactly what I said in my uh, latest video when there was like the comparison between uh, Filipino, Filipina and Thai beauties. It's very subjective, you know? Like there's a community might, that might think you're not pretty but there's another community that might think you are extremely pretty. Like physical traits, fi beautiful physical traits uh, vary from culture to culture, from country to country, you know, from race to race, you know, so it's very, very subjective, seriously. Like I know, like I lived in Africa for a very long time and like there are some tribal uh, African tribes where beauty comes from having a super long neck. You know what I mean? Like abnormally long neck, you know? So it, it's really subjective. So if Janine is happy with her look, that's all that matters as long as she is happy in here and happy physically okay i think she looked beautiful before and she still looks beautiful now and obviously this website took a 
a picture of Janine Burden where she kind of looks a little sickly, you know, the before picture. Like they could have shown a picture of her before with makeup where she looks really radiant, right? But no, of course, they have to take an old one and then, you know, take the one, the, the, the surgical enhanced, well, enhanced. Is it really enhancement, you know? Again, it's very subjective. But, I mean, hey, congratulations. If you think uh, you look beautiful and you're happy in here and here, that's what matters. I think you looked beautiful before and you still look beautiful now. And to be honest, this is not the first time that, you know, Filipina, a Filipina singer did this, right? I mean, Morisset Amon, for example, did not drastically change her look, but it's pretty clear that she removed a little bit from here and a little bit from her arms and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I am pretty certain that even Sarah Geronimo did something, okay? Because her before and after pictures are very different, especially around the nose. I felt like she had a bigger nose, now it looks a little bit smaller. So this is nothing new, okay? Maybe Janine went a little bit overboard, like there is a pretty drastic difference, right? But again, a lot of people do it. A lot of celebrities do it. That's it. So that is my opinion. Now it is your turn to tell me in the comment section below your thoughts on this respectfully, please, because if there are any, uh, you know, mean comments towards me or Janine, you will be banned, okay? So please be respectful. I love my community and I know you guys are respectful, so be nice. Uh, but yes, I'd be happy to know your thoughts on this. Um, take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Marami marami salamat po, obviously, for uh, joining me as usual. Take care of yourselves. Uh, stay safe, wear your mask, don't forget to smile, and I will see you in the next video as usual. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.